Yeah, you have that leader on horse step pony. Now, nah, smaller one. Horse step pony, he's not gonna break. <laughs> what is up, my adventure? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. First time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. We catch more fish after 3 o'clock than before 3 o'clock. So let's keep a tie today and see if we catch more weight after 3 o'clock than before 3 o'clock today. I'm sure we're gonna fish dark to dark. Uh, we're putting out the green stick right now. Nobody's around. Put the green stick, make a couple passes. Then from here, we'll probably go start our hunt. But fishing with me today, I have the one and only Ninja Henry. What's up? And we have uh, Gaff Nasty Cody himself. I have Kylie driving today. So we're the stick right now. Uh, let's see if we can get some action. Firecracker Molecraft went out. I want to throw over your line just to irritate you, Henry. <laughs> All right, we get the green stick put out right now. Nobody's around. We're, we're gonna see if there's some tuna fish here. All right, everybody, for the dream, never give up. It's gonna be epic. Oh, we gotta do the musubi. All right, we almost forgot. With any good fish here, if you wanna get something, you have to give something. The moon is still up. It's a perfect moon right now. And uh, gotta give musubi. She got loves musubi. Stick up now. Let me use some gas, okay? Okay. Cody, save your arm. Don't need jiggy jiggy yet. We're not close yet. Save your arm. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, not yet. He's been doing it for hours. Don't worry. Yeah. About it. <laughs> 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 You're gonna be doing it for a while. Not yet, Cody. And don't hold the line like that either. It comes down. You don't have to have it like that by you. It's it's a it's a steep learning curve. You'll learn real fast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, small aqua. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Pop the ikima. Open the ikima already. So you just dump them inside there. Come up already. Henry, good size, Henry. Not too small. There you go. I guess you're right. We did get we did get the stick. We did get the stick fine-tuned from the last trip. You know what I mean, small aku, but you know what? Still pee off that stick total slowly. Now only in the whole nine thousand eight hundred sixty dollars probably. All right, yeah, let more in here. Perfect, good. All right, stick is back to play. Let's make another pass. Oh, that's a good size one. You missed the other oh, size one, huh? Oh, here we are. Oh, yeah, we're bringing it in. Solana. Yeah. Get your gloves on here if you need gloves. I don't know. It's a good size one, baby. It's me weird. Yeah. I never seen it swim like this. Nope. Nope. Wow. It's far hooked, shibi. It's far hooked, huh? No. Henry, take that off, Henry. Well. I think there's one more, Henry. Take off the clip, Henry. I might have came off. No, it's still on. Oh, no. Yeah, it's on. No, I don't think so. It came off. Was this, was this one right here? It's off. It's gone. Put it back out. Got a shibi now. Not too bad. Small one. That's a real small one, though. We saw some big ones jumping on top, but let's get another pass here. Get another pass. You get lucky again, boys and girls. For the dream, never give up. Thumbs up for good luck. Put our fish in ice. We got one Aku and one Shibi. Typical buoy fish. Let's go. 
They look like they were different at six and a half knots, huh? Yeah. yeah. Nah, I think it's just it's not that big. Just pop, just pop the Ikimo, it's not that big. It's like 15 pounds, 20 pounds max. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Coming up. I don't think it's Alga, it is a Shibia. Yeah, well, like 15, 20 pounds maybe. Well, we just had 10 minutes of our time, boys. Oh, yeah. Toss them, man. We can toss them. That's a nice one. Hang them in there, yep. Good job, good job, good job. We have to admit that uh, Coney's probably the master jerker today. He's like <laughs> killing it with the jerky jerk today. <laughs> All those muscles, all those muscles. How many down is about 15, 16? Yeah, not bad. So we told ourselves we'll leave here at 9 o'clock. Right now it's about 8.30. So every time we catch a fish, we'll add 10 more minutes. So now we're not leaving here until 9.10. So let's go back around so we get in our bites. Only us and one other boat here. Everybody else, there was a center council, but he left. I don't know where he went. But uh, more meat in the box. Can't complain about that. But I think at 3 o'clock and later is when we really get the action. That's what I think. I think after 3 o'clock is when you really get the bites. So we'll see if we'll see if my theory pays true. I think you're more in the box after 3 o'clock. I've seen that on my YouTube videos, family, family. <laughs> what the? <laughs> That's gonna be all I'll take. All right, let's see it again. So I guess it's 9, 10, 9, 15 now. We're gonna obviously a little bit, we're gonna clear lines and then uh, we're gonna all start hunting. Hopefully we get lucky today, I don't know. Hopefully Lady Luck helps us out today. What do you think, Kylie, for take number two? <laughs> I think so, I think we're gonna get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> you honestly see the all take of that, wait till the end. Oh my god, it's not family friendly, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna set back up, we're gonna uh, clear lines and we'll see you back here shortly. We got lines set up, we're gonna run a strawberry, a strawberry monkey on my long center. I read the delirious this time, so I have an ice blue 9 inch jet, a blueberry uh, scoop 9 inch, 7 inch ice blue with the black skirts inside. I made myself a new blue snow globe since I lost it tomorrow last time, and of course the 100 percenter. Get these guys out and then uh, we'll see you guys back here shortly. Hopefully Coney's lucky today. The most important part of your day, getting your spread set up. I'm laying my green stick as a center rigger, as a long center rigger. And I got a bird back there. I don't know if you can see in the distance, but there's a nice splash off that bird. My bird, my bird is uh, from my friend Brandon. He sent to me from Japan, so super epic. Good stuff, good stuff. Everything is set. Now let's, see, let's go chase the dream. We get lucky. 9.50, we need a few more passes by the buoy with the stick. Saw some marks come up, but the fish aren't biting. Not there. There's some good sized marks, but I gotta go chase the dream and come back afterwards. Bathing. Plus, there's a lot of boats there now with bait, so yeah, I don't want to hang out there with all those guys. Alright, everybody, here we go. Thumbs up for good luck. See if Lady Luck's on our side today. First bird pile of the day. Looks pretty, pretty promising. It looks a lot better than Coney's gaffing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Good bird paw. There's another bird paw about a mile outside of this bird paw. The good, there's good current breaks over here today. Really good current breaks. So we used the Lokai app today. And the Lokai app shows like a lot of the current breaks and uh, temp breaks and current lines in general. There's some good current lines out here today. So hopefully it'll pay off. Hopefully it'll pay off. So you're gonna get your pass over here. Uh, you might buy it, bet you. Yeah. Put gloves on, huh? Buy uh -huh. yeah. my I bet you. Only one so far. Oh, right there, what? Two? No, no. Oh. Two, one's coming in. Oh, that's it right there. Uh, big my my. Huh? Henry, bring it in this corner. That's a big my. It's a big my. Bring it in that corner. And then see if there might be followers, yeah? Hey, that was the lure, yeah? What is that? The... Your, uh, that's that you just re-raked. The, the, the blue snow globe, yeah? 
Yeah. Good says my wife. It's gonna come back, Henry. Nah, we can buy a toss right? We're gonna come back this way, guys. Oh. Come on, back on the drag a couple clicks if you want, Coney. Back on the drag? No, no, you, once oh. you get closer, come back on the door. Oh, okay. You might double back. Reach low, I keep them head low, and then whip them in, okay, Coney? Yep. Grab low. In the boat, in the boat. Put the Ikima, put the Ikima. That's a big bull. That's a big bull. Good job. That's about a 25, 26 pound bull. That's a good job, boys. No, no gaff nasty. <laughs> <laughs> you should have gaffed this. Like. Where's that lure? Let's see that lure. <laughs> where's the, oh, where's the gaff? Oh, it's right next to you. That's where we're back out. Where's the fight? Next to you, we're gonna go back. Blue snow globe. Going back out. Hey, you wanna put a, a purple snow globe on that one? Up to you, there's a 7 inch purple if you wanna put that out. Right here on that, up to you. Got it. Okay, run it. So, blue 7 inch snow globe. Look at that open screw. I know Fowler, that was a big bull. Find the pile? Right around side of us, we'll go back around. All right, boys, you want to thumbs up for good luck? Let's get some more. Lady Luck is working today. The big bull, my my. Anything over 20 pounds to go to the fish auction has to be gill and gutted. So Henry's going to gill and gut this guy real fast. This ball's coming up. <laughs> Open the Ikima, Henry, please. Huh? Open the Ikima. Size one. All right, let's see it, Cooney. There you go. Ooh, How's that back? Three packs? Oh no. Ooh. Big one. Oh, good job, Cooney. All right, put it back out. They're still there. All right, nice aqua in this pile. Not old taru. Nice skipjack, though. We'll take it. That's dinner. Uh, for all my fishing gear that I use, uh, from lines to hooks to everything, I get at highfishgear.com. It's a local store in Hawaii. They ship pretty much anywhere in the United States, even Guam, I think, maybe some other places also. Really cheap shipping, fast turnaround. You order something today, if you're in Hawaii, you get it tomorrow. That's how fast it is, that's why I like to use them. And if you use the raw 5 code, you get 5% off. They support local, super good store, and they help me out a lot. A lot of stuff I ask them, can you bring it in? And they bring it in, no problem. So, Bill Lane's team over there, great bunch of guys over there. Definitely support the store because they definitely help me out a lot by bringing stuff in that I, I, I request, so stoked on that. But well, we're getting back to this aqua pile. Let's see if we get another bite for the boys and girls. If you notice, they haven't let Coney gaff anything today, because gaff nasty is a real thing. I flip everything. <laughs> Double, oh, triple, oh. triple, triple! Come on, let's go, guys. This is why I love being the captain. <laughs> let's go, guys. Fish trying to reel themselves in. <laughs> Kylie's one is gone. Oh. She's really nothing in. Really She's fighting nothing. Coney. Back off on the drag a little bit. Back off on the drag. Whenever you bring them up for the back off on the drag, okay? Yeah. And Cody, pass it under the 80 and walk forward. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Good size one. Yep. Right there, Coney. There you go. Under the 80, walk it forward. There you go. There you go. Come on, Coney. That's a dozer, that's a that's a Otaru. Go on Henry. Cody got his. Kyle, yours was probably was your hook good, honestly. I think I let go of the off the rigger and make him off. 10,000 people are watching right now, Henry. No pressure. That's a good size on here. That's a big one. That's a big one, Henry. That's a real one. Let's see it. Let's see it, Henry. I'll get everywhere. Good size on Henry. Go, oh, Truman. Yeah, you. Whoa. On the chrome head. Yes, sir. Uh. Okay. Hang on in there. Hang on in there. Hang on, bottom. Let's go. The last of it right there. 
So that is all before three o'clock. Like I said, after three o'clock, if you're willing to stick it out, I promise you, most of the time it'll pay off. We'll see if it pays off. After three o'clock, I feel like I catch a majority of my fish. I don't know if it's just me or because it's the never give up lifestyle we're trying to keep going. So right now it's three o'clock on the dot and let's see if it pays true. Three o'clock on the dot. So let's see if the after three bites are better. Don't go for good luck, boys and girls. Hopefully it's about to get real. I think so. 28 miles to go. That's a good gas. Oh, that's a funny gas. Holy yeah, oh, yeah, pal. No mark, you know. Oh, yeah, we got one on. One on. That short is on too, for sure. Small. Small aku. Small one. Two aku's for the after three o'clock. 322, two aku's. Two small is that. That's only about, I think we have about 115 pounds from earlier. I don't know, we'll add it up. But I think we have 115 pounds from before three o'clock. After three o'clock, that's gonna be 15, 20 pounds top. Not that much. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. I'm telling you guys, never give up. Yep. We had a pretty bad time with the small lures because we do had about 3.34 o'clock the women pick up, they picked up. Really good actually fishing conditions right now. But we had small lures out and with the wind it blew it over, they had a bad tangle. So we brought everything in and our friend called us, he's back in the booth, he said that there's some, some big shimmies here and there popping up. So I told everybody, since we got everything in because we have to do the tangle, let's just fly it back to the booth and see if we can get lucky with the stick over there because those burp piles, after a couple more passes, they broke up. I don't know what happened, so... We'll see if we get lucky with the late bite. Tide is going up the whole way till 7 o'clock. Dark is about 6.45, 6.50. But it's a rising tide the whole way. Right now it's 4.55. We're about two or uh, three miles from the buoy. We should be here shortly. We'll see if we get lucky, boys and girls, for the dream. Thumbs up for good luck. And then, um... I have an epic catch and cook coming up for this one. My dad who lives in uh, Big Island came over the other day. He bought some, uh... Some dried aku tegu. Oh my, that was really the best tegu I ever had. So I told my dad, my goal is to get aku today and make tegu with it. So I'm gonna show you how to make a, a super epic dried aku tegu. I don't know where my dad got the recipe from. I don't know if he came up with it himself, but that thing was epic. So we're gonna make that for a catch and cook. Oh. All right, everybody. I'll see you guys. Hey, so get to the buoy. All right, hello. All right, so we're back at the buoy. We are deploying the stick right now. Laying the stick out, and then uh, let's see if we can get lucky. 5.15. It doesn't get dark till 6.45. Let's see if we get some fireworks. Hey. Should be good this water. This water will have nice texture. Yep. Then uh, my friend Andre, who lives on the North Shore, drove all the way from Hollywood here. He's gonna have a nice ride home. My friend Andre, he sent him like a couple weeks ago. Oh, He's right there on his boat. Hammer 19. So, I'm gonna have a future episode of him coming up very shortly. I'm gonna film with him one day on his boat. But uh, he's doing pretty good today. He got a, a 100, 20, 130 pound marlin so far. So, not too bad, not too bad. He's on the boat. There you go. Nice son. Careful. On the stick, baby. All right. Sorry, I was on the phone. I missed the bite and everything. I was on the phone, my friend was over here. But we got one on the stick. Good call, Henry, coming back over here. <laughs> Captain knows best. Captain knows best. I'd say after 50 to 60 hours minimum of dialing in, we got our biggest fish so far, like a 35 pound TV. So I think officially in the hole now, maybe 9,000. Seven hundred and eighty dollars. So not too bad. But it's it's five o'clock here. One other guy here, my friend's here right now dragging bait. And he got a couple good sizes on his bait he said. They're gonna keep biting, we're gonna stay until dark. So yeah, we're gonna pick up over here. But we'll stay. We will stay. We will stay. Alright everybody, thumbs up for good luck. Let's get these boys out. Cody we not marking anything yet. Eighteen to twenty eight pounds down, lots of marks. Oh, oh, oh. Are we on? Uh, I think it might have been. Yeah, no, we're on. We're on? We're on. Oh, wait, wait. Looks like it's dragging like it's a small one. Yeah, we're on. Yeah. They don't look that big. 
<laughs> oh my god. We'll just hang him, we'll hang him, we'll hang him. I was like, did it get dark? That's what I thought too. Oh my god, it's a little guy. <laughs> Put that big one on ice, Ray. Wait, How's that little one? Huh? It's kind of hooked, it's hooked by the eye, yeah? yeah? Yeah, no, kill him. Yeah, he's hooked by the eye. I'll try it, it's actually. Yeah, put the big one on ice, Ray. All right, that's another one. Not too bad. Fish are here. They weren't here this morning. I guess they're here now. It's a small one, though, but... I would like to let those little ones go, but... She's so right by his eyes, so... It's gonna be shark food. I'd rather us eat it or someone else eat it versus sharks eat it. Way too many sharks over here. All right, everybody. We'll see you soon. We're gonna reset. Coney just gilling gut him. Put him on the bike. On the box. Good job, Coney. Good yeah. job, Kylie. Bucket Look at her, bucket service and all. That's what I'm talking about. Right, open the bags, right? Yeah, open the bags, it's fine. It's good playing bags. Six o'clock. Let's get a few more packs here before dark. That's a real one. That's about a 70 or 80 pounder. Fill up that clip. Do not let go. Whatever you do, it's not gonna break. Just wrap it. Just get ready. Get ready. The line's coming up. Oh, what the f oh. You have that leader on horse, that pony. Now, nah, smaller one. Horse, for Cody. He's not gonna break. Cody, I said never let go of the leader, Cody. Good, right there. No, no, he doesn't got it. He doesn't got it. He missed the gap. Come on, Henry. In the beat. Good job, Henry. <laughs> you guys kill me. Good job. Bat, bat that guy. Bat that guy. He's gonna go nuts. You gotta bat him. Bat him. He's gonna go nuts. And the captain has to go nuts. <laughs> I didn't let go, it slipped straight off my hand on one wrap. I was like, alright. One rule, don't let go. Number one or two, don't get the f go, Henry. <laughs> Good job, boys. Good job, boys. On the meat. Dude, I wish I had the camera only on that one bit. That one went ballistic, huh? Yeah. The one thing I didn't want to do today is get my boots dirty. Got my boots dirty. So, down sea. We're going to make another pass with down sea. It's going to be dark very shortly. It's 6.30 now. Pony's gonna gilling at the guys who get them on ice. To go, to go to the market, definitely gilling gutted. So I'm pretty sure we covered expenses today. Now we're gonna eat good. That's for that's for sure. Sun is going down though. Gotta love it. Sun is going down. Pony's gonna get that, get that guy. Or we're gonna make another pass by the buoy. The fish weren't here yesterday. They're here today. Honestly, they'll probably be gone by tomorrow. We saw a couple of pilot wells over here, so I'm sure they're not gonna be here tomorrow. The pilot wells love to chase those guys around. They love T2 most. I think I'm about like 60s, not bad. Okay, I guess that's it. That's never give up. The sun went down a while ago. It's dark, dark. Oh, 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 oh. We, are we on? Yeah, we're on. Are we on? No, yeah. no, four is okay, no. I thought it was on, but I don't know if it just came off. I thought it was on. Now it's off, it's gone. It, sure? Yeah, it came off. I can see the lures come in. I don't know, just in case, I don't know. Oh, that was literally the last pass. It came off. It came off. It literally bit when I was about to close it. And it came off. But uh, that's it, I guess. We'll see you guys at the fish auction drop off the fish. Epic day, epic day. Taking the ice out of the, the boat. I painted the truck. But pretty good load. Pretty good load, not bad. We definitely missed some though. Definitely missed some. We don't have the, the fine tuners we thought we did. We definitely missed some. Quite a bit actually. You guys want to give up, she wants to keep going. So not bad. <laughs> not bad. Some chibi, some akus, my my. So uh, we'll drop this off at the auction and uh I guess we'll see at the auction. All right, everybody. So I dropped off their Akus before me, and the oxygen full effect went full blast right now. You see all the buyer trucks there. Came late, I was tired. I got the fish late, so I wanted to make sure they're cold, but I don't know if the big sheepies will have temp today, because I caught them so late, right before dark. Right now it's 6 a.m., and the oxygen's in full swing.
to offload our fish. I let Henry and Kone and Monte go on Otaru. I get on Otaru. That was like this one. Or well, soft when we caught it. They're real soft, but it's still soft, so I don't know if it's gonna be all that fish or what. I don't think it's a good price, but it's weird. Like, it's sick or something. It's super, super weird. It's real soft and jello. Never had that before. But we'll go on the Here, we're done here. We'll come back for a check. Uh, and then uh, I'll see you home for the ketchup cook. Let's go home and uh, start a ketchup cook. And we'll come back for a check after. So what is up, guys? We're back at home. Um, we have that Aku. I kept the Aku. I told Kony and Harry both take Aku home. Uh, or Taru, Aku over 20 pounds. The Skipjack over 20 pounds. And the reason being is, it got flooded the day before with 100 pieces or so. And um, I heard the price was down on them. I think they're getting two dollars a pound. So for a 22 pound fish to make 44 bucks, I told everybody, everybody else take one home. And I think we'd enjoy it more than 40 hours each. You know what I mean? So everybody took a Motaru home. The bigger sheet we took it to the block, it didn't uh, meet temp. It has to be below 40 degrees for it to sell that day. The bigger one was at like 44 degrees and they attempted to be for the auctions at 41 degrees so they could not sell it that day. So unfortunately, uh, it's gonna go tomorrow, which is not a big deal. It should be fine. So I don't know what we got paid yet. I won't know till tomorrow. And we'll have that breakdown for you guys tomorrow what we made. And I'm pretty sure the fish that we dropped off today will cover all our expenses. And I'll have a complete breakdown of that also um, after I catch a gun. Another thing too is whenever you catch fish, let it sit at least 24 hours before you cut it. You know what I mean? The fish will settle and still come hard. I know a lot of guys cut it really early, which is, you can if you want to, but the fish hasn't really set up yet. You know what I mean? Sometimes when you cut it too early, it's like, the meat's like jello. And to me, it's not, not really, it's the best idea in my opinion. You're not gonna get the best quality meat like that. If you try to do a fish fresh like this, and it's been less than 24 hours, not set up, it will not do this. The skin tends to stick to it. You see how it's like sticking over here? So if it's less than 24 hours, chances are it'll stick to it. Okay, so we got our trade from restaurant supply we did not steal this we bought this i bought these today i bought a whole bunch of these they're three dollars at restaurant supply okay right there's the tag see i did not steal this don't say oh you stole it i bought it okay let's get these fleas cleaned up because in order to make table we have to dry it first so i'm gonna cut this fillet in half beautiful quality fish that's why you take every fish there's a little blood meat right there. We're gonna trim that guy out. So I'm cutting in half now. There's blood meat, let's trim off the blood meat now. Daku has a super irony blood meat taste, which, which I don't like. Now you watch my other video, pretty much the same way you can make sashimi. You cut this in the sashimi blocks right there, okay? Three eighths of an inch maybe. So that's a little faster. Yeah, remember though, it's gonna take up room, you know what I mean? We're making tegu with it, so I don't want it like super, super fat. If I was making like just straight dried aku, I'd probably want it fatter. But, pretty good. We're gonna add to the whole fish. We have 12 cups of water here, okay? We're gonna add more tins tender quick to it. So I think the good ratio is for every four cups of water, you add one tablespoon of more tins tender quick to it. More tins tender quick is a, is a meat curing agent. One tablespoon for every four cups. We'll go ahead, give it a quick mix, make sure it's all diluted. Don't worry, my hands are clean, I washed it. So we have uh, it all diluted here, okay? And we're just gonna add our fish to it. And we'll let this soak for, like I said, three to four hours. It's five o'clock now. Well, about nine o'clock, I'll stick this in a food dehydrator. And tomorrow morning, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It won't be done yet, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I messed up. I was supposed to turn up a temp on the dryer last night at like midnight, one o'clock. And I totally forgot because I was busy editing. Uh, but here's the shibi. It's a little lighter. Uh, I turned up the temp late, so it should have been done by now, but it's gonna take a little longer. So much more pieces are done, but. So that's it'll probably a few more hours. I, I, I juiced the tap, so should be getting there shortly. So my hands are clean. I just washed my hands, okay? Dry them off. What I did was I cut all of these with um, a scissors. I cut it all up right. I have three pieces left, just to show you it looks like. I put off in the dehydrator um, last night. It had to stay a little bit longer because like I said, I forgot to turn up the temperature. So unfortunately it was dark when I pulled it out and it wasn't great footage. So here it is, what they look like when they're done. 
a little more like on the not really dry not really on the gummy side but not really on the dry dry so right in between so cut those up use the scissors it's probably easy for you to cut it because if you use a if you use a knife you'll be here forever with a knife so scissors are like the easiest and fastest way to cut it so that's it it's all cut up i have one bag cut up already so i got the the sauce all made ready for the tegu it's a simple sauce you can find any sauce online i'm not gonna try to make it because pretty much i just made the taste you know what i mean so you can look online there's tons of sauces easy to make it's like four simple ingredients sesame seed oil cochujang paprika honey and it's pretty much just mixed to racial to your taste but it came out pretty epic i'd say we have some dried aqua in here we do not have it all in here just a little bit because if you try to put it all in and mix it one time it's just gonna be too hard to mix We'll give our sauce a good mix, make sure it's all thoroughly mixed. And like I said, there's tons of recipes online to make tegu sauce. I'm not going to show you mine because it's my dad's sauce and my dad was like, ah, I don't really want you showing my sauce. So we're like, all right. So there's tons of them online, pretty much the same stuff though. So mixed up pretty good. For I'm going to add more, I'm going to add sesame seeds because I think it might be a little hard to mix with sesame seeds into here. Once it's all in there, so I'm gonna add seeds now. And this is pretty much just two tastes, as much as you want. The last of it. That's it. 16 ounces of sauce, and I honestly thought I need too much sauce, but I could use a little more sauce, honestly. And then after this, I'm gonna go to the auction, I'm gonna get my check, and then uh, I'll have a breakdown of how much we made, how much we didn't make. We lost money. I think we did okay. And what a little more. A little more sesame seeds. You know what I like about doing these kind of ketchup cooks in the backyard versus in the house? Is I can make out here as messy as I want, spill stuff all over. Not get all that freaking stuff all over the kitchen, they can't mess in the kitchen. I can shoot off with the water hose afterwards. So we got the tegu here. Everybody sampled the tegu. Everybody says winners. But nobody's been on camera at sampling. So we'll get we'll get monster mat sampling this thing. In this container, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this oh god, all right, so I guess I'll see you guys back here with our breakdown of how much we made off this trip. Oh my god. Before we get into what we made and what we didn't make this week, I just want to let you know that I have lures dropping on morselures.com tomorrow, Friday, April 1st, 4 p.m. It's not April Fool's joke, I really do have lures dropping. Um, uh, they do sell out normally pretty fast within a couple hours, but I'm just going to let you guys know for the guys that watch these videos, there's going to be 10 lures that are going to be labeled as April Fool's. It's going to be a legit lure. I've never sold it on my website since it's been up in the last two years. People have been asking me to make them, but I haven't because they're a lot of work. It's a seven inch lure. You're not gonna be disappointed. I'm not gonna show a picture of what it is until they're all sold. Then I'll put a picture up so people can see what they missed out on. But uh, that's just something for you guys. You know, if you wanna take the gamble, it's gonna be a price of a seven inch lure and it's gonna be, it's gonna be epic. And if you miss it, I'll have them on the next drop, the following drop. But for the guys that get in early, they'll have a chance at it. So that tegu came out super epic, you know what I mean? That was probably one of the best things ever. Not Kato Tato's already, so I'm making a batch of tegu right now. It came out super epic. Everybody loved it. All the boys are like, oh, that stuff is, is mean. So like I said, there's lots of recipes online you can find. Um, we did pretty good. The, I guess what, what, what this ship kind of shows you about the auction, the price for like the local fishermen is it fluctuates, you know what I mean? The fish I saw was nicer, didn't sell till the next day, two degrees too warm. So what happened was, it got a lower price the next day because there's a lot of long line fish that came in, so it brought the price down. Um, the fish the day before was softer, was smaller, and got a better price. So that just goes to show you, you know what I mean? With the auction prices, especially for these guys that are commercial local trollers or, or commercial fishermen locally, their, their income is going to fluctuate, you know what I mean? So if you can't, support your local fishermen. Buy local. These guys aren't getting rich out here. I mean, they're busting their, their butt to get fish for you guys, so buy local. So for the fish that sold the first day, five yellowfin tunas, the ones that sold the first day were 43 pounds, mm. Gillen got 13 pounds, 18 pounds, and 5 pounds. Uh, the biggest one got 350 pounds, and that one, like I said, when I was dropping off, was weird. It was soft. I never had a tuna that was soft like that. It was still soft the whole next, that, that day, which is kind of weird for me, but got 350 pounds, not too bad. Our check for the first day was 347. The bigger one that sold the next day was 67 pounds, and we got 290. And after auction took their cut, we got 174.87 off of that one. So for a total of 522. Expense-wise for fuel and ice, we spent 300 dollars So we're gonna add 222 to our rolling total up there on the very top. I mean that shows you like you think about that for three guys fishing. We did 14 hours that day. We did 130 miles, 14 hours. For three guys fishing, to dive that by three guys, 
it's not much money for a commercial guys you know what i mean so if you can i'm always gonna push that support local buy from your local fishermen long line is cool do not buy import do not buy stuff from import from taiwan other places they don't take care of the fish and honestly it doesn't help us at all you know what i mean so support your local fishermen fuel prices are going up everything's getting a lot more expensive for us everything it's coming very costly where you have to catch fish for me i have to catch fish to keep going because i can't take a hit of three jars two three trips in a row and not catching and not making any money because that would hurt definitely would hurt but uh if you guys want to see uh Damien, in a video coming up let me know he wants to go fishing probably next week so i think we're gonna take him next week um so let me know in the comments if you guys want to see him because you want to go right like and subscribe if you want me to go or like and subscribe if you want you to go so if you guys want to see vidim in a video in a couple weeks let me know in the comments because uh these gonna be coming next week we'll hopefully get lucky we're still trying to get the stick dialed in we filmed this week's video already it's gonna be another stick video i made some adjustments and i threw all my baits off again so there's gonna be a lot of stick videos coming up we're gonna keep running the stick until we get it fine-tuned for eye season because it's not there yet like we're catching but it's not there yet like we're missing a lot so we really have to fine-tune it a lot more than what it is right now i guess it's all about peeing the dudes putting the time in so let me know in the comment if you guys want to see this little monkey in a video coming up very shortly He's probably gonna go this week, so hopefully we get him on the fish. But I guess that's it, guys. As always, tight line, see fish you will see on the water or under the water.